Registration of Exporters. In this lesson, we are going to discuss the important concept how any business unit or organization start export business and where the organization register for the purpose of export import business. After studying this lesson, you should be able to understand registration of exporter, registration with sales tax departments, registration with export promotion councils. The customs authorities will not allow to import or export goods into or from India unless you hold a valid IEC, Importer Exporter Code number. The IEC code is unique 10-digit code issued by DGFT, Director General of Foreign Trade, Ministry of Commerce, Government of India, to Indian companies. An application for grant of IEC number shall be made by the registered or head office of the applicant and apply to the nearest regional authority of Directorate General Foreign Trade. The registered office in case of company and head office in case of others falls in the Ayat Niryat form ANF 2A and shall be accompanied by documents prescribed therein. The customs authorities will not allow you to import or export goods into or from India unless you hold a valid IEC number, short for Importer Exporter Code number. Getting IEC number is easy, especially if you have a PAN card. An IEC number allotted to an applicant shall be valid for all its branches, divisions, units or factories as indicated in the IEC number. When an IEC number is lost or misplaced, the issuing authority may consider requests for grant of a duplicate copy of IEC number, if accompanied by an affidavit. If an IEC holder does not wish to operate the allotted IEC number, he may surrender the same by informing the issuing authority. On receipt of such intimation, the issuing authority shall immediately cancel the same and electronically transmit it to DGFT for onward transmission to the customs and regional authorities. Certain categories of importers or exporters are exempted from obtaining importer exporter code IEC number. Sales tax is a tax imposed by the state government on goods sold in or outside India. However, exportable goods are exempted from sales tax provided the exporter or his firm is registered with the sales tax authorities. Such exemption is granted on both goods exported, goods purchased from the local market for export purpose. The exporter is required to make an application in the prescribed form to the sales tax office in whose jurisdiction his exporter's office is situated. The inspector inspects relevant books and documents such as sales and purchase register, house rent or tax receipt, memorandum and article of association in, in case of a company, certificate of incorporation in case of a company. The inspector drafts a report and submits it to the STO. The STO verifies the report and may call the exporter personally if certain clarifications are required. The exporter is required to submit a security bond to the STO before getting the sales tax registration number. Such security bond should be supported by another firm registered with the STO. On receiving the security bond, the STO grants sales tax registration number to the exporter. There is an exemption from the levy of sales tax on the sales of goods to an exporter for export of goods against export order to another country both under the Central Sales Tax Act 1956 and the various sales tax laws enacted by the respective sales. Thus a supplier of goods or materials shall not charge sales tax on the supplies given to an exporter for execution of a specific export order. The Constitution of India empowers the central and state governments to impose and collect the levy of excise 
wide entry number 84 of list 1 of the 7th schedule and entry number 51 of list 2 of the 7th schedule. The state governments are empowered to levy excise duty in respect of alcoholic liquors, opium and narcotics. Such excise duties are known as state excise. Now let us check our progress by finding out if the statements given on the screen are true or false. The Federation of Indian Export Organizations represent the Indian entrepreneur's spirit of enterprise in the global market. Right or wrong? Right. The customs authorities will not allow you to import or export goods into or from India unless you hold a valid IPC number. Right or wrong? Wrong. Before we end, let us briefly revise what we have studied till so far. In this lesson, you learned about how any exporter register various authorities before starting export business, what are the main formalities which is necessary to fulfill before any foreign deal.